Gathering with a Purpose, Community Music Activities Emphasizing Social Change. My name is Mary Cohen. I'm an Associate Professor of Music Education at the University of Iowa. And this presentation is for our Community Music Activity Virtual Conference. Thank you to all of the commissioners and ISME staff allowing us to meet virtually. This topic started roughly a year ago when I was in Wichita, Kansas, visiting my mother, Louise Shinogle, for her birthday. At a celebration, and the next day, I read the local saw in the Wichita Eagle Beacon, an article on the front page that said Kansas to send hundreds of inmates to private prison in Arizona amid overcrowding. That stumped me. Why was this happening? When people are moved away from their home communities, their family members have a difficult time visiting, and it's a private prison on top of that. In 1995, there was a choir that began called the East Hill Singers. This choir is comprised of outside male volunteers who meet with men from the prison that leave the prison and sing in a public concert. I attended this concert before graduate school and was really blown away at the idea that Elvira Voth began at age 70. So if this program has been going on over 20 years in this prison, why are there still so many unjust practices in the prison system? What are we doing in community music to make positive changes? Big, big, big question. Upon moving to Iowa, I began my position in 2007 and did a lot of research to start a choir called the Oakdale Community Choir. This is a choir similar, similar to Elvira's in that there are outside volunteers that sing with men who are incarcerated. Rather than leaving a prison, this particular project has concerts inside the prison. And we've discovered anecdotally that this opportunity for people to come into the prison is, an op is a chance for transformation and broadening their awareness of people in prison. In fact, Ted Messerschmidt has done his dissertation examining this. So we do have some evidence indicating that singing with people and listening to concerts can broaden people's view of people in prison. So we've tried to promote social change in the choir by being purposeful about who we invite local leaders, state representatives, the representatives of national leaders, law enforcement professionals, legal professionals, employers who haven't thought about hiring a formerly incarcerated person, students, restored students, former choir members. One anecdotal story is a prosecuting attorney came to a concert and heard the man that she put behind bars for life introduce an original song and speak about the transformation he's experienced and sent a thank you note. There's a program in Iowa City called the Council for International Visitors to Iowa Cities. Three different occasions we had folks visiting from all over the globe learning about promoting social change through the arts and they came into the prison for different events including last summer a larger event titled Promoting Social Change Through the Arts where we highlighted a number of the arts programs in the prison. Iowa City Representative Mary Masher has invited the choir back in April of 2018 to sing inside the in Des Moines inside the state capitol for the representatives. That performance involved two former inside singers, the president of the University of Iowa, Iowa Harold, President Bruce Harold, and Warden Jim McKinney, who, by the way, told me when I started this project, Mary, great project, but I don't sing. Yet he did join his voice with us for this. Other ways we are allowing the voices of people incarcerated to be in the community with the hope of broadening people's awareness of our common humanity has been a project that the Heartbeat Opera did. And check out the YouTube video at a later time to see this project in more detail. They collected audio footage from choir members singing O Velchelust, the prisoner's chorus. And then they had images from four of the prisons on the stage behind them. In November of 2018, we created a program called a learning exchange that dissolved the boundaries between performer and audience member. This included the Soweto Gospel Choir from South Africa, Maggie Wheeler, Sarah Thompson, 
two amazing song leaders that are part of the Ubuntu Choir Training Network. Maggie is a actor from the TV show Friends. She played Janice and Sarah Thompson. Lots of research studies that have examined a variety of things related to the impact of choral singing in prisons improving attitudes toward prisoners, self-esteem improvement, self-expression, and songwriting. This website lists many of these research studies. One of the most recent things that I've done is a designed a course titled Peace Building, Singing and Writing in a Prison Choir for both incarcerated and non-incarcerated students through the Liberal Arts Beyond Bars program. So a variety of micro transformations. However, there are some huge issues, human rights issues in U.S. prisons with the prison industrial complex. The United States is the only Western country that still has the death penalty on the books. Many issues with long-term sentences. There is a variety of need for radical overhaul. So what can we do? Well, we also have extreme issues of racial disparities in U.S. prisons. Complex. So how can we create more caring communities? The Oakdale Choir core goal is to create communities of caring within ourselves, within the prison and beyond. So at a series of think tanks, and I acknowledge that every one of the faces on this screen are white women. So that's definitely something to acknowledge for us. In the conversations, we, um, Sophie, the choir member and her sister, through our conversation, well, what can we do? I'm reflected on the fact that one of the choir members attempted suicide and there is a extreme need for mental wellness in Iowa. So we have a conversation with a mental a wellness, mental health awareness leader. There is a remarkable program called the Iowa Freedom Riders and we're looking at connecting with them to find out how we can see their work. And also looking at Native Lives Matter. By the way, if you've not seen the documentary film Rumble about the Indians who rock the world, I highly recommend it. Thank you for your time. Let us make positive change. And as one quick final note, when I spoke on the phone this week to Mary Masher, she said, Mary, the music that's happening is really, really valuable. So keep on keeping on.